Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla, aka The Vacationer Kiki, and I love all things Disney, especially Disney World. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Let's say you only have one day in Walt Disney World to explore one park. Which park do you choose and why? We're going to be talking about the number one top Disney World park. If you can only pick one park to visit, which park are you going to choose? That's what I'm gonna break down for you today. What is the best Walt Disney World theme park and why? I'm going to be using four categories to choose my number one park at Walt Disney World. Those categories are atmosphere, what is the vibe in the park? What do you feel? What is the story Disney is telling you? Number two, the attractions. What are the rides like? Are they any good? Are they just for kids? Are they just for adults? Attractions in a Disney theme park are top tier. So we have a lot to choose from and break down. Number three, the food. How is it? Do you want to eat it? Is it yucky and gross? Everything from snacks to sit-down dining at the Disney theme parks is really something to consider when you're going to be spending hours and hours at a theme park. And finally, number four, entertainment. Walt Disney World is known for some of the best entertainment on earth. And again, if you're going to be spending from morning to night at a park, you want to see and experience a lot of different entertainment options. So without further ado, let's get started on what is the best Walt Disney World theme park. Just a quick little reminder to please like and subscribe to my channel. We are going to have an extremely exciting month ahead of us and you won't want to miss it. And as a little thank you, I would like to present you with a Disney duck. Okay, come on, let's go. My number four park to visit at Walt Disney World if you only have one day is Animal Kingdom. Now don't get me wrong, I love Animal Kingdom and they scored a one for atmosphere. You're in the jungle, you have all of those sights, sounds and smells enveloping you. You can take a walk and see exotic animals on the Kilimanjaro safaris or fly on Pandora. Which is why Animal Kingdom gets a two for attractions. I took a point off because Animal Kingdom does not have the most attractions. And I find that when I visit Animal Kingdom, I'm really through it in about a day. And I just don't feel the need to go back. I love it though, I love it though, don't get me wrong. The food at Animal Kingdom is pretty good, but again, you're limited in choices. And finally, Animal Kingdom gets a one for entertainment. Festival of the Lion King is one of the best shows at Walt Disney World and certainly a do not miss. But overall, Animal Kingdom just doesn't feel as mm, Walt Disney World to me as some of the other theme parks. Moving on to number three on our list, we've got Disney's Hollywood Studios. I rated Hollywood Studios a two for atmosphere, a two for attractions, a two for food, and a three for entertainment. Let me just say, at the time of filming this video, Fantasmic has yet to return. So that factors into the ranking. The atmosphere at Hollywood Studios really feels like you're on a movie set. Or like you've stepped into a classic old Hollywood film. I love the music, the walks down Sunset Boulevard and Hollywood Boulevard, especially at night. And the icon of Disney's Hollywood Studios is Roman's Chinese Theater. I gave Hollywood Studios a two for attractions because I think the attractions at Hollywood Studios are absolutely incredible. I personally love thrill rides and roller coasters though. So rides like Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror are really my favorite in all of Walt Disney World. Now you might not feel the same. Maybe you have little kids or maybe you just don't like that butterflies in your stomach feeling. But if you're someone like me who feels the need for speed, you're not gonna wanna miss Hollywood Studios. Moving on to the food category, I gave Disney's Hollywood Studios a two for food. In my opinion, the sit-down dining at Hollywood Studios at restaurants like Hollywood Brown Derby and Sci-Fi Dine-In are really just unmatched in Walt Disney World. And the food is really, really good. As you probably know, part of the experience and atmosphere in Walt Disney World when you're at a dining location involves the atmosphere, how you feel, what character are you playing at your table. And Hollywood Studios does a perfect job blending 
great food, and great atmosphere. And finally, in the entertainment category, I gave Hollywood Studios a three, only because at this time the parades at Hollywood Studios are the cavalcades, and Fantasmic has yet to return. There is a nighttime show at Hollywood Studios, which I personally love, but it's not that Disney grand fireworks wow you that we've become used to. Disney Parks, please bring back nighttime spectaculars to Disney's Hollywood Studios soon. Next up, number two on my list of if you only have one day, which Disney World theme park do you go to? And for this one, I chose Magic Kingdom. Let's go through the rankings. For atmosphere, Magic Kingdom gets a one. Picture this. You scan your magic band and step onto Main Street and you spot the castle for the first time in the distance. How does that make you feel? For me, sometimes it takes my breath away. When you see the castle and Magic Kingdom and smell the smells and hear the music, it's really like you've arrived at Walt Disney World. For most people, and very recently for me, this would have been number one. But I'll get to why it's not, don't worry. For attractions, I gave Magic Kingdom a two. I love classic attractions like Haunted Mansion and the People Mover. I even ranked Carousel of Progress number one Magic Kingdom attraction in one of my previous videos. But where I think Magic Kingdom is lacking, and not for long, by the way. So yes, of course, you've got your mountains, space, big thunder, and splash. But once you hit those thrill rides, along with Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, you're really out of thrill rides. I think with the opening of Tron, Magic Kingdom will get a fresh reboot in the thrill ride category. But for now, I'm giving Magic Kingdom a two. Now moving on to food. I rated Magic Kingdom a two for food. Sit-down restaurants like Be Our Guest and Jungle Skipper Navigation Company are really right up there in my top 10 list. But the quick service at Magic Kingdom could use a little improvement. I'm looking at you, Cosmic Rays. Love him though. And finally, in the entertainment category, Magic Kingdom gets a one. One being the best, of course. Magic Kingdom's nighttime spectacular enchantment has won people's hearts. And while for me, I still love Happily Ever After, enchantment is a close second. You also have some amazing shows throughout the day, Festival of Fantasy being one, and the parades are slowly coming back and returning to normal. If I had to choose, I'd say Magic Kingdom's entertainment options are really the best. So if that's something that's important to you on your park day, Magic Kingdom's for you. If you haven't guessed by now, our number one park to visit at Walt Disney World if you only have one day is Epcot. Epcot is going through so many changes this year and next. And while I may have put this park at the number two spot about a month or two ago, since Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind opened, this park is number one. For atmosphere, Epcot gets a one. In the former future world, you have rides like Mission Space, Soarin', Living with the Land, and Guardians of the Galaxy. In World Showcase, you have new and old attractions like Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, The American Adventure, Frozen Ever After, and Grand Fiesta Tour. For me, Epcot is like two parks in one. You really have the futuristic, I'm transported to another galaxy in former future world, and the variety of different cultures in World Showcase. In the attractions category, I gave Epcot a one. As someone who has ridden Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind about 12 times now, I'm officially obsessed. And when I say obsessed, Obsessed. There has never been a better attraction in any theme park, let alone just Disney, anywhere in the galaxy. There, I said it. If you haven't gotten the chance to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, I hope you get to soon. And as far as the other attractions in Epcot go, I love the classics and the new attractions really equally. In the food category, I gave Epcot a one. When I go to the parks, I like to sample a lot of different varieties of food. And Epcot has so many different food options, especially at all the different festivals in World Showcase. Food and Wine Festival, pfft, forget about it. I need at least three days to sample all of the different foods at Food and Wine. And lastly, in the entertainment category, I gave Epcot a two. Harmonious is an incredible nighttime spectacular, a definite do not miss. But I do wish more of the parades and cavalcades would come back or we would get the chance to embrace new ones. Epcot is number one because 
Have I mentioned I love Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind? I, I, I just love it. I can't say it enough. I'm sorry. And as most of these list videos go, your favorite park may be a different park than mine. So let's talk about it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Walt Disney World park is and where you'd go if you only had a day in Walt Disney World. We can agree or disagree or agree to disagree. And if you're looking for help planning your next Walt Disney World vacation, please reach out to us at vacationeer.com slash YouTube. The Vacationeer is a platinum level authorized Disney vacation planner agency and our agents would be thrilled to help you plan your next exciting magical vacation. Just to wrap it up, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see y'all real soon. Remember, if we can dream it, we can do it. Bye for now.